Have you heard of the Three Kingdoms? A time of strife, a time of revelries, a time of heroism. Over 200 Three Kingdoms related historical sites can be found throughout Hubei, China. Now, follow us on a tour through famous cities of Three Kingdom history and experience the wisdom and courage of China's greatest heroes. Come on, Come on vlogger. vlogger. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Miguel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, it's great. The sound is loud and clear. I really like it. Now we are standing on the famous Zhang Fei drumming platform. Zhang Fei is a great military leader of the Three Kingdoms. And also about 1,800 years ago, Zhang Fei was the prefect of Yichang. During his time, he always beat the drum and instructed the army here. Also, actually, this is a very important historical place, right? Exactly. Amazing view, isn't it? It is, indeed. The landscape is beautiful. The river is clean. Really like it. This is Yichang, a city nestling in mountains along the rivers. And today, let's go back to Three Kingdoms and visit the beautiful Yichang together. Sure, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Yichang, known as Yiling in ancient times, is at a point marking the division between the upper and the middle reaches of the Yangtze River. The Yangtze River's part beyond the Xilin Gorge is no longer turbulent. The mountains slope down to hills from west to east. Such special geographical location, Yichang has been a place of strategic importance for which military strategies have competed since ancient times. Okay, the mountain we are climbing now is Jinmen Mountain. It is the fortress where the Yangtze River flows out of the Three Gorges and into the Zhanghan Plain. Oh, so this must be a very important place, isn't it? Yes, this place has more than 100 conflicts, and now the ruins of the ancient roads to the Kingdom Chu still remain. Oh, really? Yes. Take care, of me, girls. A little bit wide. Yeah. 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 It's Beach. Yeah. Yes, in the Three Kingdoms period, Kingdom Shu and Kingdom Wu fought a very famous battle there, the Battle of Yiling. So, which country won the battle? The Kingdom Wu. Because the general of Kingdom Wu, Lu Xun, ordered his soldiers to launch a fire attack on the forces of Kingdom Shu. In the summertime, it's very hot and humid. Like today. <laughs> yeah, very hard indeed. So the all camps of forces of Shu were all made of the, the wooden fencing and uh, surrounded by the woods and the such. So you can imagine everything will be destroyed when the fair happens. Yes, yeah, true. Okay, here we are is Yuchen Mountain. The Yuchen Mountain is a well-known mountain which is associated with many legends of the Three Kingdoms. Cool, interesting. I'm really glad that I had the chance to come here because like this is my first moment here and I can feel the peacefulness, I can feel the breeze, listen to the animals. It's really magic being here. Okay, let's go. According to the romance of the Three Kingdoms, the general Guan Yu's ghost has appeared on this mountain for many times. So many tourists come here to commemorate him. Wow, that's fascinating. So we're kind of commemorating him too now. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Here is a very historical place. Yeah. 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 This is Shadow Play, a world renowned incredible cultural treasure. Have you noticed the white curtain? The professional Shadow Play performers are controlling the movement of Shadow Puppies. They are performing now with Zhao fight at Changban Pu, which is a very famous story of the Three Kingdoms. According to the legend, Zhao Yun, the Shu general, saved his master Liu Bei's wife and kid from hundreds of thousands of enemy troops on his alone. Therefore, he was also prized by Liu Bei as having plenty of courage. This story took place in Changban Po, which is where we are today. Do you want to try the shadow play? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Oh, yeah. 
他一个朋友来学一学喷漆。哦，欢迎欢迎，你好。我们这呢，是用油皮做的，这个呢就叫背铅。这个呢需要手牵，啊，我还是要靠近一点，啊、嗯，随时随地都要靠近的，但也不要太贴合的啊，靠近就行了，这照着弄啊，在这走路的时候，这个马走路的，啊，骑马走路，哎，这骑马走路，这个枪呢都是放在这里，啊，车，靠车，啊，就这样啊，这就是你的位置，中心位置啊，是不是啊？帮着这个歌词，嗯，和这个形象的动作啊的，头戴，头戴。哎，吃馒头，口袋，回来，回来，身穿亚，身穿亚，长发长枪，长发长枪，长长，手中啊，手中啊，哎，对，好，对，啊 ，It's really cool. It's way harder than we can expect when we see from the other side. But at the same time, it's really exciting. It's heavier than I expected, but I'm really enjoying it. And we can see that it's very traditional, and the way they produce these pieces, it's all really magnificent. I really enjoy it. Walking through the natural landscape of Yichang, we are reminded of those heroes and their impressive stories from thousands of years ago. The shining spears and armored horses at the time have translated into legends already transmitted among people today, as the environment can shape people's dispositions in a positive way. While people can positively affect the environment, this land is insulted by its heroic people. So cool yes, I love this breeze on my face. Tonight, I'm going to take you to watch the light show by the Yangtze River. There are green lights gleaming on the hills over there, as in a Chinese landscape painting. Well, here are modern harvest buildings. Wow, look! There are some green lights gleaming on the hills. Can you see that? Yes, you can see it. It's beautiful. You say the bridges cross the river and the river flows through the city and the city is nestled in the old mountains, right? Yes. So all constituting in a picture which the half of is the landscape. Okay. It's one word to describe the light show. Sure, that's easy. Uh, amazing. Maravilloso. Estupendo. Maravilloso. Wonderful. Hebala. <laughs> Spanning more than a thousand years from a military stronghold towering amidst steep peaks and rapids to the world's hydropower capital, where a smooth lake comes from high gorges, and then to the only well known cultural and tourist city that exudes verdancy, Yichang has been an impressive city nourished by enchanting natural landscapes through the ages.